In this episode of Herman Tutorials, yes, apparently this actually is a series now and it has a name, who would have thought? We're going to be building Mumbo Jumbo's sorting system, his layered sorting system that he has in the Termocraft Season 7 base. And right here I have a slice of the sorting modules for you guys to see. And I'm going to be showing you how to build this, how to tile it, and maybe the best way to connect some of the water streams. Because it is layered, there are three layers of sorting systems here. And these sorting systems are a modified version of the really old design that's been around for ages. It's just like this only with one less repeater down here. It's basically all this. And each one of these sorts one type of item like here. This would be stone bricks. And then you can make this like whatever you want. I don't know. You can make it, I don't know, like redstone torches. You guys get the idea. This is going to be a little bit of a shorter video than what I do normally. But I do have several good videos planned for probably next week and like... In the next two weeks, there'll be some really good videos that I've been waiting to do for a while. And I think they'll be really fun. I think you guys will like them. But today is a little bit of a shorter one. Also, before we continue on, if you're not subscribed already, then you should definitely subscribe for more content. If you enjoyed this or find it useful, you can always unsubscribe anytime you feel like. And it's free. You can also hit that like button if you enjoy this as well. That'd be greatly appreciated. And it'll tell YouTube that you enjoy this video. And while you're at it, you can even come join the Discord server. The link is down in the description below. We have quite a few members now, well over 100, and it's a good community. But with that being said, let's continue on with the tutorial. So right here, we have the sorting system. And so, I'm going to show you how to build it. It doesn't require very many materials. It just needs some comparators, dust, repeaters, torches, hoppers, chests, and some ice and some slabs and a few other blocks to build on. You don't even have to use stairs here, but on the outside, it does kind of look nicer having stairs, I think. And that's what Mumbo did. So we're just going to be starting one block away from this sorting slice, I guess, that we already have here. Because we're going to tile these together, and I'll show you how to connect them up and stuff like that later on. But you're going to just start with two blocks like this with two repeaters. Each one set to one tick setting. And then a block back up there. We're going to have blocks above these repeaters, and then two blocks out, so a total of four. Block down there with a torch on it. And here we're going to have a comparator and more redstone like that. And then here we're going to have a piece of ice. We're going to have a hopper facing into that ice. And then down here we're going to have two chests like this. Two double chests specifically. Ah, I want to hit those at the same time. There we go. And you're going to have two hoppers going into them like that. And then over here above this hopper like that you're going to have a slab. It doesn't have to be a quartz slab, just a slab. Then we're going to have two blocks over here with some repeaters set to one tick on top of them. And then a block up here, block up here, and then four blocks total on top here. We're going to have redstone, 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 comparator, and ice right there, and then torch. You're probably noticing the similarities to the very generic item sorter here. It's just slightly different. Then we're going to have a block in between here before we have ourselves two double chests like that. And that block's actually going to be a hopper facing into that double chest. There are going to be two of them. There's going to be one facing out in this direction like that. And then a hopper facing back into that ice right there. And then actually right next to this hopper here, we're going to have a hopper facing the opposite direction into two more double chests. Just like that. And then there's going to be a hopper there, obviously. And we're going to have another slab right here. We're going to have a block up here. We're going to have a torch and... We're going to be going down a block for two blocks and then go back up. We're going to have ourselves the repeaters set to one tick. And then four blocks total above this. Uh, ice again. Comparator. And more redstone. And there we go. This is almost actually done. <laughs> so we need to have an additional three hoppers. And two of them are going to be facing out. And one of them is going to be facing in. And then we can just have our glass up here because this is the very top water stream. It doesn't actually have to be glass, but that's just what we're using. It doesn't matter what you put in the and there we go, that's another one of these slices of a sorting system completed. Each one is tileable one block wide, so you can pretty much just put as many of them as you have blocks. And it's, uh, how many, let, let's figure out just how tall this is. One, two, three, four. This is about 13 blocks tall, 10 blocks long, and one block wide. So that's the rough dimensions of it that should be the correct dimensions, unless I miscounted it, which is possible, but... You can also put the stairs underneath these chests like this, so it makes it look nicer from the outside. But now that you know how to build this, I'll just show you how to actually use them. So, we're just going to take items we never want sorted and place four of them in there like that. And then, we would get 41 of items that we do want sorted. And this top, it will go down to here. 
until there's only 41 remaining like that as we can see it's gonna stop like that down here you would put in three items that you don't want sorted then let's say we want to sort quartz stairs and these will go down into here and then down here four more items you don't want sorted and then let's sort let's sort hoppers so all those are gonna filter into there there should be 41 here 41 here and eventually there'll be 41 hoppers and so that's how you configure all those all right now that you know how to do that i'm gonna build up a couple more of these sorting systems or sorting modules i guess right next to each other and i'll show you how to connect them up so that this is all one cohesive sorting system and there we go we have five of these tiled together which is plenty for a demonstration of how you would actually run this all uh, i guess in one loop here so right here out at the bottom we're going to have a water elevator that goes up so we're going to be getting a bit more packed ice and some soul sand and with this we can create a glass tube that goes up here so here we're just going to make this water tube i guess go all the way up to the top like this and once we get to the top here we're going to have ice connect and we're going to get some honey blocks and we're going to have honey blocks right here and we're going to make this tunnel sort of or tube kind of loop around like that so the water will flow out here and it will go against the honey and that means that that will make it go into these hoppers and also sit on the ice but now once we're out here we would want this to turn around and actually go down to here so we'd want to have it drop down so right here we're going to have to have the honey blocks again so that the items will flow against those uh, hoppers and stuff like that correctly. So that means we're going to have to actually make this come out a little bit more. This is going to have to go... Hmm. This is going to have to actually be like this. So this is going to actually have to come out a uh, total of three blocks in this L shape like that. We're going to have our sides of our little tube up here like this and then the tube goes down we can have glass here and we can place in water there and that will still flow against the honey so that'll work correctly we can go up here place in water there and we're gonna get pressure plate and then water there and then we're gonna get a sign and place the sign right there actually we'll place it up there and so that's easier and so now that should still flow against the honey but then this is gonna come all the way out here oops Totally did not forget to have that. Oh, wait, this has to be slabs. Never mind. There we go. Okay, so at the very end here, we're going to have to do something tricky because this has to make it around to this side here to have it be a closed loop. You don't actually have to have it be a closed loop, in which case you could do this differently, but we're going to make it a closed loop system here because often what happens with these sorters is if you put a lot of the same type of item in all at once, not all of it will make it in on the first try. So if you have it circle around, then it has lots of opportunities to make it into the correct sorter. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have ice here, here, and he uh, not there. We're just going to have a glass block there. We're going to have a glass block there and there. This right here is going to be replaced with a slab. And then we're going to have water flowing like that. And then we can bring this ice all the way around, all the way around here like this, making sure not to block that off. And then we can just have this drop down to here and it'll be good. We can put our honey out, out to the side like that. We can have our walls and this is going to need to go like this. We can have our ice. We'll just bring that up to there. And then we can have our tube wall here, tube wall there, there. So wait, not there. Right there. Right here we're going to need that. And then we can just close all this off. And then put water in it and then we can test our closed system here to see how well it works okay that's all done now we can just put water right there and then we can get a pressure plate we can put more water let's get the sign ready we'll place water there and get the sign right there and down here we're gonna get water although we have to go attend to this over here now because this is flowing so that's going to be a pressure plate right there and I have not put kelp in there yet to make it actually water sources so that's why it's not doing anything and then here we're gonna just block that off this will flow in that direction and that should have plenty of momentum to make it into this water elevator although this is gonna to need to be a slab I believe to make this work 
So let me get some kelp. And we're going to go into this water column here. And just kelp this entire thing. Just like that. And then break the kelp. And now that should be a bubble vader. Just like that. And so let's make an input for this. Let's just have the input be right out here. Let's just say that we want to input something. We can just throw some items into it right here. And that will be a simple input method. We can get ourselves a pressure plate. And now if we were to throw in items. This is not sorted by the way. Redstone is not being sorted. That'll go up to the top. We can watch this go. That'll go down there. That'll slide along just like that. And what happened? Oh. How did that be how did that become two source blocks? Okay, apparently this needs to be a pressure plate instead of a slab because the slab will just get flooded and that'll be bad. So that stopped that. Let's try this again. Let's throw in our redstone. And let's give this a shot now. That's gonna go up there just fine. That goes around. It was around there. Is this going to work correctly? That worked just fine. It's going to make its way down. And where, where is it? Oh, I put this, I put this sign one block too high. Okay. Test number three or one block. I put that sign one block too low. Test number three. There we go. It's going up. We know that the first two thirds of it work. Okay. Now it's going around going across let's watch it here there it comes there it comes and okay okay that's really annoying okay I just fixed this so all of these here need to be glass panes you know it's a little bit difficult to see let's just put blocks here so you can see that there needs to be glass panes until right here where it needs to be honey and it will never get stuck on the honey because it has plenty of momentum if we watch this for a second you'll see that this is gonna come out here it's going to go up and it never actually touches the honey, but it just goes up there just fine and it circles around through the rest of this. So you would need to extend these water streams appropriately for how long your sorting system is. But now let's actually try putting in a bunch of items that are being sorted like stone bricks. Let's put in stone bricks and I want to put in something that's being sorted down here. Stone bricks and quartz stairs. So one's going to be sorted up here. So it looks like that took a bunch of them, but not all of them. And we should be getting down here, quartz stairs filtering in. If we watch this, it could, should keep filtering around. It should keep just going in a loop, putting more in each time. And there goes our redstone. The redstone is just going to go forever, I guess, until it would despawn because it's not sorted anywhere. Okay, it looks like all the stone bricks are gone. And it looks like that's probably, yep, that just disappeared. So all those got sorted. So that's the benefit of having just a closed loop of water streams. They keep everything circulating so that, well, if it doesn't get across the first time, it doesn't go into the correct toppers, or there's not enough space, then it gets into it the second time. Well, that was about the fourth attempt to get this thing working. And I think we can call that a successful attempt. And I will include a world download of this in the description if you want to look at this for yourselves again. You can extend this pretty much indefinitely as long as you extend the water streams appropriately. Make sure you have the honey placed like this. It has to be honey or like something that's missing one pixel. So it can actually go on the ice and the hoppers at the same time. And that's the only way this will actually work. Well, that's going to do it for today, guys. Just a little bit of a shorter video. But like I said, I've got some good videos coming, hopefully in the near future. So, yeah, that'll be good. Anyways, if you enjoyed this or found it informative, then be sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications on so as not to miss out on future videos like this in the future. And also, you can join my Discord. The link will be in the description below. For all download in the description, you can support me on Patreon. The link will also be down there if you're interested in joining the private Minecraft survival server for $5 a month. But I've been Speed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Bye.